Gentlemen, welcome back to Biker's Garage 101. This week, treat special. The front brake lever is not going back to its place correctly. It's making the rear light uh, flicker. And this is something that's wrong with the, with the pump. So it's time for a major master cylinder overhaul. Let's crack this baby open and see what we find inside. As I'm doing a major overhaul, I decided to take out the, uh, flush out all the brake fluid. And for some idiotic reason, I thought it would be a good idea to take the uh, the banjo off the brake caliper. There's a lot of line in here, especially if you have vape hangers like I do. So I cracked the uh, banjo open and started to flush out all the, all the liquid. And this is where the camera decided to do its own thing. And as you can see, just pump easy, you know, go take it easy, slowly, and you'll eventually get all the liquid out. We need to take the brake assembly off the handlebar, so a 916 inch is what you need to crack open the banjo nut. Here we go again with the camera doing its own thing. Golly, this is just this is so irritating. Uh, take the nut off and wrap the banjo up in some tissue paper. You don't want to make a mess out of things. Half inch wrench. Take the rear. Um, take the uh, mirrors off. There really is no need to be dickering around with anything other than the master cylinder. So take it apart and set all the screws to one side. If you can get a set of instructions from a Harley Davidson manual, so much the better. But uh, if you follow this video, you won't need any. Okay, so we have the master cylinder on the bench. Now we have to take the lever off. To take the lever off, you have to pull out the pivot pin. The pivot pin is held in place by a retaining ring. I have a special plier for this to take these rings out, but they are impossible to deal with if you don't have one. So I hate these fuckers. And this is what you're going to be needing, a front master cylinder rebuild kit. I got mine off the Motorcycle Storehouse catalog. Any reliable supplier will get you a set up with one of these. These are. This is what comes inside the envelope. It's just a piston, a couple of O-rings, uh, a spring and whatnot. You know, it's very simple. It's surprisingly simple, okay? It's even scary simple. I thought there's going to be a lot more complex than this. So let's put everything away. You don't want to lose anything. The first thing that you want to do is get the wiper off, what Harley Davidson calls the the piston cap. Don't worry about breaking anything. You're going to be replacing the entire thing again. Just make sure you don't scratch the the base of the the the, the metal part of the brake, the master brake. And you know you'll find a whole bunch of crap in there. This one is in pretty sad shape. There's a whole bunch of crud and stuff in there. So no wonder the piston was not going back to its position. Just grab the piston and pull it out. And you'll discover what's inside. You know, it's very simple. It's Like I said before, it's almost scary simple. So here we go. As yeah, simple as that. Pull the spring out as well and put everything to one side. And you're pretty much done. So let's take another look at that piston there. It's uh, some sort of... Um, Cast metal alloy that's that's seen better days. This dust cap goes on top of it, and pretty much that's it. And of course, we also have to check out the cylinder part. Make sure it's not rusted or scratched. Don't be poking inside of it with a metal brush or a metal object. Just give it a good clean with uh, a clean paper towel, and uh, you're good to go. Speaking about cleaning, don't go crazy about any products or soaps or whatever. Just use plain denaturalized alcohol. Get yourself a nice container like the stainless steel bowl and uh, put the uh, master cylinder in there. Use a clean brush and flush everything out with alcohol. You see all the stuff kind of starting to come out. You know, be thorough about this. It's very important. Don't use any metal objects to clean out the surfaces. I'm using a popsicle stick here. It's the safest way to go. So you pretty much reach the, the stage where you can just pull out the new master cylinder kit Take out all the parts, take a good look at them, compare them to what you took out in the beginning, use dot five to lubricate everything, and start out with the O-ring. So the O-ring is gonna be a really tight fit. I'm using an ice pick here to help me out, slide it all into its recess. It's kind of scary, but don't worry, it's not gonna break or anything like that. So carefully just slide the ice pick in there, Slide the O-ring on top of the ice pick surface and carefully just work, work your way around until it fits in, into the recess. 
And before you even know it, boom, it's done. As simple as that. And now you're pretty much ready to tackle the piston cup. Okay, the piston cup is wedge shaped. It's got a narrow end and a wide end. The narrow end goes towards the piston cap. Okay, and again, lubricate everything and boom. That one goes in really, really fast. Now you have to remember when I say lubricate everything, I'm talking about brake fluid only. Pop the spring in, test it, make sure everything is loose. Bring over the master cylinder that you have already lubricated as well and pop in the piston. It goes in so easy, it's just amazing. I'll give it a good couple of pushes and make sure that the spring action is good and it's uh, free floating in there and it's not binding or anything. Okay, so now believe it or not, we're almost through here. We're, we are ready to tackle the piston cap and the wiper installation. Make absolutely sure that you install the wiper correctly. The flat side goes towards the piston, okay? That's very important. Now, the wiper needs to be installed correctly. It has to go all the way into the recess. The best tool that I found for this was a clamp and a spark plug socket. Just give it a good go and it will pop in. Clean everything out, give it another good test to make absolutely sure everything is free floating and you're good to go. And from here on, it's just more cleaning and more cleaning. Installing the lever, it's the same process as taking it out. You know, just be careful, put everything in, to, in, in the right way. And uh, you will finally reach the point where you have to install the godforsaken clip. It's, they, they are a nightmare. Thank God I found my pliers and I could finally install this freaking thing with it. No trouble at all. So you can see it's almost as good as new. Well, it's actually as good as new. So a little bit of brake fluid in the reservoir and you're ready to try it out. A couple of good pumps is you should, st you should start feeling the pressure. Let the finger go a little bit and brake fluid will squirt out. So rebuild has been completed and absolutely successful. So now you're ready to put everything back together. Make absolutely sure that the brake lever and lever bracket engage correctly. You'll feel it, there you go, right away. Otherwise you'll screw up the rubber boot of the stoplight switch. And they are very expensive. They go for something like 30 or 35 bucks. Fill up the reservoir with fresh and clean brake fluid and you are ready to bleed out the system. And that's a completely different story. Hope you found the video helpful. Catch you next time and ride safe.